Uh, think very carefully what you wish. Of course, what you wish might come true. A lot of stuff that one does not think of before you get it, like fame and stuff. And also this thing about idolizing another human being uh, does not go well with me. Don't ever idolize another human being. We are all just mocking imperfect just every other dude or chick next to us there ain't no perfect human being Listen to the Vibes. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Listen to the Vibes. And I'm very honored to welcome my guest today, Andy McCoy from the great band Hanoi Rocks. And he's got a solo album. Uh, it's uh, Jukebox Junkies, right? Uh, yeah, and it's the last one. And we're re releasing the album before that, 21st Century Rocks, because. Just like four days before a world tour, mm-hmm. uh, they shut all the borders because yeah. of this hysteria. Yeah. Uh, the COVID shit, you know. Uh, yes. On this Jukebox Junkies, uh, you have quite a few uh, cool covers on there. Yeah, because these kids who listen to me, uh, they don't have a clue about these songs. I had a, a list of some 70 songs. Give a few, take a few. And it was really, really hard to choose the tracks. So I thought I'll make an educational album for the kids. And it's done really well. I mean, there's some wonderful tunes there. And some Bowie. And I'm some... kind of pissed off I didn't write them all. <laughs> <laughs> but you got some Bowie on there, some Climax Band, oh, Wanda Jackson. Did. He passed away. I have to give him homage. Man, yeah. he was a good friend. And, you know, the lyrics are made in James, uh, uh, Iggy Pops. Yeah, Iggy Pop, right. Yeah, and you can hear, no European would ever write lyrics like that. But <laughs> Iggy, Iggy, he's Detroit. And you can take the boy out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the boy. <laughs> well, and that. Harbor, it's basically Detroit, you know. Uh, who all plays yeah, on record. this album with you? It's me, my daughter sings almost all the female vocals there. Uh, as I told you, it's an educational album, but what's more important now is that 21st century rocks is being re-released because this COVID hysteria totally mm-hmm. screwed it up. Yeah. And yeah, it's way more rock and roll because I love any good music. It's my music, just like Hanoi Rocks. It's all my music. Uh, it's all a continuation continuation of something that started when I did my first record, 45, when I was 13. And now I'm 60. 
and I still do the same shit. You know, and every time I try to drag myself out, I find them dragging me back in. What I love about these albums is the songs don't all sound the same. Like paintings, you know, um, classically trained. You never want to repeat yourself. What I've always, like, been striving for is to make every song different. I mean, what's the point of doing this, what I do, being an artist, if I repeat myself and repeat myself? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what my passed away body, Andy Warhol, got in. To. It was just the same shit year after year. Mm. But you gotta remember his past. He was, uh, he used to do like drawings for commercials before he became an artist, artist whatever it is. But he learned to hell of a lesson. How to make a business big. And I believe he's the first painter who managed to pull it off and make mega money. Mm. I mean, so, fucking Gamble Soup. Come <laughs> <Right>. on. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I get the Mars Mars, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what usually influences you when you write a song? Uh, I think it's the general overall atmosphere, the vibes I get out of it, and I go. Things just come to me. I can't replan anything. Whatever comes, comes. Some are not always usable. They're too different. Blah, blah, blah. So I give them to other artists. I have a lot of artists recording my songs. And... But then there's that certain you feel this is right for me. It suits me mm -hmm. and I won't alienate my fans. Yeah. And there's a lot of them around the world. Gosh. Well, definitely has some fans here. I know. <laughs> all over the place, man. It's kind of surprising because I never set out to be famous. It means shit to me. And the idea of the world would be they only that they don't recognize me on stage. But unfortunately they recognize me everywhere. Right. And it can become a pain in the ass. And therefore, I live a very private life. Yeah. But the music and the art, they're a trip. Because when I write, when I paint, I'm alone. And here, that I love. That I love, my man. Yeah. So basically, you just look for folks to hang around with that just want to treat you like a regular Joe. Basically, oh, yeah. Bullseye. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be treated special. Uh, I don't want to be torn to pieces. It has happened. All that shit. And I tell you, to be in a position like that is not 
how I want to live my life. You know, I remember once in Japan, we had about 20 security guys, you know, the guys the size of your door. And there's 400 screaming 13 to 16 year old girls. Like those guys could have kept them from cutting across. It was like a tsunami. Impossible. Hell, we ran, me and Michael Monroe ran for our lives. Got into a limo. They jumped on the car and the roof broke down. And thank God, somehow we got out. But those were the days uh, when I was a teenage idol, and we had to like we couldn't leave the hotel through the front door. Uh, uh, uh we had to take back ways through the kitchen and these corridors that lasted forever. Mm -hmm. But it's not what I ever looked for. What is it that you'd like to be able to do that you're really not able to do nowadays? Walk around unrecognized. Just go hang out in public and nobody bother you. Damn right. Damn yeah. right. Well, if there's someone out there that's aspiring to maybe become a musician or an artist or whatever it is that they want to do in life, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, think very carefully what you wish. Of course, what you wish might come true. But these trips, they have sidekicks that you might not like. You'll read me yeah. uh, a lot of stuff that one does not think of before you get it, like fame and stuff. Yeah. And also this thing about idolizing another human being uh, does not go well with me. Don't ever idolize another human being. We are all just motherfucking imperfect. Just every other dude or chick next to us. There ain't no perfect human being. Very true. Very true. Yeah. The, a lot of the people that I've met, they've all feel the same way. Uh, you know, I've talked to Rudy Sarzo, JJ French. Oh, uh, Rudy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I admire these folks because of their talent, but when you get down to the root of it, they, they just want to be a regular Joe and do regular stuff. And I, yeah. And, once it's taken away from you, it kind of changes your whole life. And it does. Have to live in secret fucking addresses and blah, blah, blah. You know, can't go out without bodyguards, which is a bitch. I like to be free. Yet people uh, find where you live? Uh, thank God in this country I'm in, it's illegal to write where you live. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can take photos from inside your house, even from the outside. So... It's a nice place to be, except for in the winter, when I usually disappear down south. I have a manor down in Spain. I hang out there. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Me? I'm painting. I'm having these uh, 
art shows with art by me and Andy Warhol. I don't know why they picked me up. Probably because I'm the only one who's alive but Mick Jagger who actually knew him. I don't have a clue, but it's interesting because uh, I have to go more into pop art instead of classically styled art. Uh, well, they are, my paintings are still very different from Andy Warhol's, but the ones I'm resenting now, they are towards as far as I can go with that, uh, of pop art. So painting is like your escape from everything? For me, it's like meditation. There you go. You know? Yep. I don't need anybody around. It's just me, the colors, and the canvas. And I let it fly. Fly sky high, man. Uh, the only weird thing is that uh, they never turn out how I wanted them to turn out. They seem to take their own direction. And I fly with it. Know what awesome. I mean? Yes, sir, I do. I paint myself. Yeah. But yeah. So man. you'll get me. You'll oh, get yeah. me. Hanoi Rock still playing together? Uh it depends on the time of day, how I feel, because in the end it's all up to me. Of course there's no Hanoi Rocks without me. Are you gonna make it out here to Texas? Eventually I will. Yeah. When I'm in a state of mind where I do what I want. That's the way to live, man. I, I have the means for it. I don't really have to do anything. But I'm passionate about two things. Like addicted, you know. That's making paintings and writing songs, playing music. I tried to retire when I turned 50, that's like 10 years ago, and I realized I was sitting in bars for two years, and I was like, this ain't no life. I'm, yeah. I'm cheating myself. You read me. Yep. And... I started to activate myself again. I realized I was just smoking weed and hanging in bars. Mm -hmm. Not getting anything done. I had the money to do it, but was it like giving me something was it rewarding? Hell no. I realized I'm wasting time. I'm wasting my life. Yeah. I I hear you. I it used to do, do that it too. It got old real fast. You know, because I've got friends who've been in bars for 50 years. And believe me, they looked apart. The yeah. But it's not for me. How many friends have you lost from drinking and doing all the drugs? Oh, dear. I don't want to start counting. Yeah. Uh, a pretty hor horrific like number of very close friends. From Johnny Thunders, my cousin-in-law. Onwards, Willie the Ville, and this and that, and da da da. Some survive. A lot of people are very surprised about me being alive. 
course, they used to have this most likely to die list in was it enemy or or melody maker or one of these British music rags. Mm -hmm. And I was number one year after year after year. Oh man. Before Keith, before any of those. Well, there's only seems to be me and Keith alive out of those people. And I'm in full hell. Awesome. So there's some blessings somewhere there, you know. Yeah. Well, I feel like I have some kind of purpose in this life if I'm still alive. Yeah, yeah. It gives you a different kind of outlook that we do have a purpose. Why else would we have survived? Well, I was part of that generation that, you know, heavy metal came on the scene and we felt oh, like we I had to keep up the <laughs> well we felt like we had to you know keep up with the party and to be cool and that was the scene you and... know that's the way it used to be and uh, it was a very mi misconceptive way of looking at it but that's the way things were, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you remember. Yep. I'm not going to mm -hmm. go into an hour's preach about this or that, what you should do. It's up to everyone what True. they decide to do with their life. But yep. you and I come from a generation where it was like, the chill thing to do and everyone else does it too so why the hell not me yep well it was for fun in the beginning and then it got oh, to be a yeah, full-blown habit fun in the beginning yeah but yeah. how does it end up <laughs> <laughs> exactly story. what happened to me <laughs> me too bro yeah, <laughs> makes us makes it two of us so where can people purchase your albums? Cleopatra Records. Yeah. And buy the vinyls because uh, in my opinion, like the digital shit, they all have inbuilt like equalizers and blah, blah, blah that take all the air out. Yeah. And air is an extremely important part in music. But in vinyls, you still have it. Yeah. But with all the digital shit, and they all have it built in, uh, they take the air away and compress the music. Yeah, compressors they use, yeah as well they're all built in i would suggest to anyone go for the vinyl if they want good sound quality do you have a website andy mccoy.com oh, no, uh, don't be sorry well i want to thank andy for being here man you have been so gracious and I, i'm very appreciative and I want to thank all you folks out there. If you are new to the channel, um, I hope you'll come back. Please hit that subscribe button for my regulars. You guys rock because and you make it possible for me to do this. You're a gentleman, and I thank Thanks, you. Sir. We had a good chat. Maybe yes, we, we went off the course. Uh, <laughs> That's the best conversation. Music, but it was a lovely conversation. I I agree. And God bless you. God bless Thank America. You. Thank you, sir. And okay. to, to all you out there, until the next one, please take care. Be kind to one another. God bless yeah, and yeah, peace. Yeah,